Welcome to It's The Dave Show, I'm Dave, and here I do travel, home, and tech product reviews, and today I'm doing some tech. I'm gonna talk about these uh, variable ND filters from PGY Tech. Uh, what's a variable ND filter? Well, it's a variable, which means there's different variations of the settings here, but these are kind of like a sunglasses for your camera. Now, this particular one is used for this one. It's a camera I just picked up, and this is a DJI Pocket 2. There's a lot of initials going on here. I'll just call it the Pocket 2 camera. And when it's super, super sunny outside, your camera has a hard time working out the settings to make sure that things are not blown out and nasty looking. And what these do, they help, again, it's like sunglasses. That helps reduce the sunlight coming in, makes your camera work a lot easier, better, and you get much better footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at these close up, and then we're gonna go outside and put them to the test with the camera out in the sunshine. Let's take a look at these close up. Now we're gonna take a close up look at what you get in the package of the filters. So a uh, nice, really cool box. You can see all kinds of good stuff in there. I have pre-opened this and tried this out myself, but I put it all back in here for you guys. I'm gonna pull this out and you get uh, like some stickers, it looks like. They're pretty cool with that. A case, let's take a look at this stuff here some instructions for the Osmo Pocket and Pocket 2. And looks like some warranty cards, uh, lifetime warranty. That is also super cool. That information is there. Uh, you get a cleaning cloth, because this is a, a filter lens and it is also uh, very small, so you're gonna get your fingerprints on it. And uh, all of that, let's move this out of the way. Let's take a look at what we get here. PGY Tech, super nice case. Uh, you can see the filter is it's pretty small, pretty small. Can you even see it? You probably can't even see it on the close-up. It's small. I will take it out of the package. It is black, it is red, and there's a little dial on it. Let me see if I can get close up. I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but um, there is uh, some numbers on the end of the dial. This is the variable part, the two to five stop filter. And again, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it, as you dial it, it changes in um, the strength of the filter. But we're gonna put this on the camera and try it out to show you. So super small, and this is a magnetic case, so it just kind of snaps in there. Now these attach to the um, the camera. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, these attach to the camera by a magnet as well. Now in this case, you can hold up to five filters. So what I do is I will actually take the one out of this other filter. So this one is the two to five and this one is the six to nine stop. So the, the lighter weight, the heavy weight, and um, we're gonna put these on the camera, but let's, um, let's take this out. This is all the same, all the same goodies you get with it. But um, what I do is, let's open this one up, is I will take this lighter weight one and put it at the top. It just again, kind of snaps in and take the heavier one and put it down on this corner. So uh, when I am looking to pick out my filter, I can just take one case with me, open it up. I know that this one here is the lighter weight and this one is the heavier weight uh, one. The numbers on there are so small, I need my glasses, almost a magnifying glass to uh, see the numbers on there. But um, that's, that's kind of some close up on what it is. You see how small these are. But let's go ahead and put this on the camera and uh, take it outside and let's do some testing on it. Here we are outside in my backyard and you can see this is completely blown out. I have this set at uh, 4K 30 and um, I have it at uh, ISO 100 and the shutter speed is 1 because I'm shooting this at uh, 30 frames a second. So the, uh, the shutter speed has got to be 1 over 60. So here it is, normal, regular. This is supposed to be the best settings for this unit for video. It's way blown out. So let's try and put on the first one. 
the the first uh, here we go the little filter. Well, it just snaps right on, right in there. And well, that worked a little better, right? Now this is a um, uh, here, maybe hold on, follow me, maybe. Okay, um, this one is the, the two to five, and this is at the two setting. And if I dial it down, you can see, oh, wow. Okay, see, now that's too dark. So this is the, the two to five, that's all the way down to five. So if I take it to, ah, I want some blue. I'm in the shade right now. I'm going to step back into the sun. So now you can see me in the sun and how it looks in a bright, bright sun. So the camera is in the shade, but it's out facing the sun, uh, you know, behind me. But if I turned it down like that, this is probably at uh, three. This is about a three. That is uh, not bad. I can see the blue, blue sky, and I can see some of the details in the back. Even if I tweak it a little bit more, you might be able to bring there's a lot of jets flying around. <laughs> um, you might be able to bring some of the shadows back up in uh, editing, but that is, that's how the filters work. I don't really need to try the other one, the heavier one, because it is, um, that would be too dark. But let me, let's bring this out into the sun and see what happens. Okay, this is direct sun. I'll put me in the sun. Oh. Yikes, okay. Now I am completely blown out. And this is on the five, so this is all the way to the five. So let me change it. Let's take that. And. Here we go. Okay, so now this is at the six, the six to nine level. And it is bright. Let's turn it down. I can't, I can't even see. I can't even see the screen, but this is the, all the way down, and that's probably way too dark. Six. That's all the way from six. It's actually not too bad. Probably about there, six to seven. And um, super bright. I, say, I can't even see. I can't even see the screen. It's so bright. But um, this is with the filter on there. So you can see how much it makes a difference to use a ND filter. And um, that's it. That's it for the test for now. And let's go back into the studio. Well, what do I think of these filters? Well, I think they're pretty good. Uh, you can see they definitely make a difference. And I'm looking forward to using these more. They seem to be very good quality. The, um, the dials work fine. They're very smooth to, to do. There's no stops. There's no, no hard stops for each one. So you don't really know where you're at. You've got, you've got all the way to one side, all the way to the other, and then everything in between, which you can kind of dial in uh, different variables. So if you need two and a half stops or just a little hair over this or hair over that, whatever it is you need to adjust your, um, your exposure, these can do it. It's very simple to do. They do just magnet on, um, so I'm hoping that I don't lose them um, if they get bumped, but they seem to be pretty good, pretty tight on there. You don't want to knock them too too far, too heavy, but otherwise they seem to work great. Um, I like them. Uh, again, I recommend picking up both strengths if you were going to do this because you never know. The lower ones would be for more cloudy or kind of glary kind of stuff where the stronger ones would definitely be good for super bright light bright sunshine like we have here and um but anyways i, I hope this helps you guys make a decision about this i like it this company seems to be pretty good quality product as well i did buy these myself um a little disclaimer there so um they, they didn't send it to me <laughs> but p p g y tech if you have some other good products you'd like to send me Anyways, again, I did pay for these, so uh, this is my stuff, my opinion. And that's it. Until next time, you guys go out and film some great stuff, and have a great day.